Uh, hello, welcome to my Serb guide. I'm going to be showing you how to consistently skip the first round of souls. Uh, and the goal for this is to keep her above 400 HP for the first 30 seconds. And the way we accomplish this is by using a slow hitting weapon, not so great DPS. Uh, and a great option for this is Guthans because you're not wearing your Slayer Helm. And it's a nice slow weapon that you can count the hits on easily. So let's go ahead and start this kill. So we begin by counting the hits of our Guthan Spear. Uh, and you don't have to start counting until after you've dealt with this first triple attack. So the attack immediately after that you know is going to be 3. So we're on 3 right now. That was 4. I'm going to put a little counter up on the screen. So you want to do 10 Guthans War Spear hits. And then switch to your good DPS gear. Um, and every now and then your Guthans will just go absolutely ham. So you'll have to kind of stop attacking completely and, and sort of count your way through it. Um, it's not too hard. You'll sort of get the rhythm down. So now we're switched to our good DPS and we're waiting for the second triple attack, which is coming up any second. There it is. And now we're going to dump our specs because this is the burst phase. You want to get her down below 200 HP is ideal because you'll know exactly what's going to come. So now we got souls. Uh, we know that lava pools are going to come as soon as the souls reach right around the edge of that skull. And we know this because she was under 200 HP when the souls uh, got to that point in the skull. So we're going to go ahead and finish this kill up and start a new one. Just so you know, uh, right after that second lava pool attack, the very next attack was going to be a triple attack. Okay, this kill right here is showcasing what happens when Cerberus is above 200 HP uh, when the souls reach that point at the skull. So no lava pools are going to spawn because she's above 200, you just deal with them normally. Now three attacks after the souls start to walk away is when she spawns her pools. It'll be the fourth attack. So we're going to run right now. And then the very next attack is going to be a triple attack. So just hover up over that range protect prayer because you know it's coming. Go ahead and finish your kill up. You can definitely switch to Guthans if you're low here because uh, you know what's happening. You're just going to have to deal with maybe one more lava pool spawn. Occasionally this will happen where she's at that threshold of around 200 HP and the hit when the souls reach that point at the skull puts her under 200 HP. So the lava pools kind of sneak up on you. So just be aware of that. It doesn't happen too often. Just make sure you're watching her HP and be careful. And here's one more thing to look out for. Normally the lava pools would spawn right now, but they seem to be desynced for some reason every great once in a while. So they just come late. You really want to be watching for lava pools when she's below 200 health at all times. Uh, she only spawns them every 15 seconds, so if she's just spawned some, you know you're good. So who is this guide useful for? Uh, we know that suiciding a looting bag full of food on the ground is the most efficient way to do this, but as an ultimate Iron Man, I obviously can't do that. And then there are, of course, Iron Men who don't have a Spectral Spirit Shield and are limited on prayer potions. And skipping a round of souls does save you quite a lot of prayer potions. Uh, the thing is, as well, you don't use a lot of food with Guthans, so you can bring more prayer potions and you can get more kills per trip. And the funny thing about this method is, despite doing bad DPS for the first 30 seconds, it does actually end up being a good kills per hour. I get around 13 kills on average per trip, and my trips take about 20 minutes, uh, considering I'm an ultimate Iron Man, I have to unnote crap and stuff like that. And that ends up being between 30 and 35 kills per hour, which is actually very competitive. And if you're an Iron Man, it saves you a lot of prayer potions, it saves you a lot of food, and it's kind of a fun method. It's a I like to bring no food and kind of challenge myself to get through the whole trip without using any food. And it makes the kills kind of enjoyable. So thank you for watching my short little guide. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to hit the like button, I don't really care. Fuck off. And I'll see you guys later. And the hit right when the skulls... Oh, the skulls, son of a...
bitch.